So, this one is in reference to this paper he sent me over here. Now, first thing, they're all worked out the exact same way. So, the way I show you how this one is worked is how the others will be worked as well. So, first thing we do, we pick one arrow. Let's say we pick this one. That one is 50 newtons, and we have to see the direction in which the arrow is going. Now, the scale is 10 millimeters to 10 newtons. So, what's why it's going to do first? He's going to draw a parallel line to this line in your free space. Like that. Now, since it's 50 newtons, and the scale is 10 millimeters to 10 newtons, this has to be 50 millimeters. He has to draw it to exactly 50 millimeters. The next arrow, the one right next to it, is this one. This one is 95 newtons. So he's gonna draw a parallel line to this line from here. And he's going to make it since it's 95 newtons, 95 millimeters. Next is this one, 50 newtons as well, parallel to this one, fifty millimeters. And then we have the final one, 75 newtons, straight horizontally. So 75 newtons, straight horizontally. So it would be 75 millimeters. There. Now, for question A, we have to determine the resultant force and draw an arrowhead to indicate how it acts. So, what you have to do for the resultant force and the remaining arrow is join the final one you have to the first one you had. So, this arrow over here would be your answer. This holds the resultant force and the direction. So, how to get the resultant force? Since the scale is 10 millimeters to newtons, he calculates this size, this measurement in millimeters and then transfers that into newtons. So, for example, if it comes out to be 45 millimeters, it will be 45 newtons. Okay? Now, question B. State the magnitude and angle of the horizontal plane. So, what he has to do is simply state this answer. That's the magnitude. This is the magnitude and the direction and the angle the angle so then he would just see this angle what it is that's it because the angle to the horizontal plane so this is the angle and that's it all the other uh, worksheets are worked out the same for example for the first one you sent me which is this one he can start out with drawing this first arrow over here. Then this one is joined over here. This one over here. And then he sees the remaining arrow. That would be the result. They're all worked out in the exact same way.